third, can, third candle of Advent. Joy. As they left the garden, it seemed all was lost. But God brought hope, knowing this was not the end, but the beginning of their story. As Joseph found himself sold into slavery and accused of crimes he did not commit, anxiety could have set in. But God brought peace. As Joseph knew God had a plan and would not abandon him. As Nehemiah served in the courts of a foreign king and the walls of Jerusalem were ruined, he could have allowed depression to deplete his energy. But God brought joy, and that joy was Nehemiah's strength as he sought to rebuild that which was lost. And Joseph had joy as he rebuilt the life that had been taken from him, and the new life was better than before. And story after story reminds us of the difficulties faced in life. Ruth was a young widow with a mother-in-law to care for in a foreign land. Esther was a queen, torn between protecting herself and protecting her people. David was a man on the run, living in the wilderness. Yet, despite their circumstances, each found joy as they relied on the Lord. Each found that the Lord was their fortress, their protector. Whatever our circumstances, whatever your challenge, God promises you joy today. The apostles could sing songs of praise even while in prison. And Jesus went to the cross for the joy set before him. As they allowed as they allowed God's supernatural joy to flow through them, they found that all things were possible. Where do you find your joy today? In Jesus' name, Father, King of glory, we thank you for this season, O oh Lord. Thank you for your son you sent to us, O oh Lord. Father, King of glory, we pray, O oh Lord, that your son, shall bring, your, son, your son that you sent to bring joy to the world, we pray, O oh Lord, that we be partakers of that joy in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. Help us to focus on you and the joy that you bring, and help us to... Uh, keep less emphasis on our problems and our circumstances. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.